Hi, my name is Jessica Pope. I am a birth doula and childbirth educator in Bloomington Normal, Illinois. I wanted to make this quick video about visual aids and props that I use when I'm teaching people about childbirth um, and labor and parenting and breastfeeding. Whether it be one-on-one um, -on -one with a doula client, whether it's um, a private childbirth class or if it's in a group setting like a, a childbirth class or a group class. So these are visual props and things that I use to kind of talk about birth. So the first thing I want to talk about is my cloth pelvis. Here it is. And I purchased this cloth pelvis um, back in 2011 as part of a set. And I chose to go with the cloth pelvis as opposed to the harder um, pelvis, which I, I'm not sure what the other one's made out of, but this one, you know, I can squeeze it up and I can stick it in a bag if I wanted. I can fold it up. It's very mobile. And it's actually the mobility is the reason I wanted to get the cloth pelvis. Um, I want to be able to teach my clients and my students that our pelvis is made in a way that it has mobility, it can um, change shape, and, and baby, as baby is navigating the pelvis, it can also move, for example, the coccyx or the tailbone can flex out. And so the cloth, um, also if we're doing something like a double hip squeeze, it, I'm teaching people how to do that, you know, going up and in, it actually opens the pelvis. So more room, so they can visually see what's happening, what we're trying to make happen. Um, as baby moves down, how they can put pressure on the sacrum, and we can do counter pressure, or even lower counter pressure. So the mobility is the biggest reason I wanted to get this cloth pelvis, is I want people to be able to see, you know, this positive image of our bodies are made to have babies. Um, and most of the time, your pelvis, if, if given time, you will be able to move and adjust, and baby's also going to be able to navigate and adjust. So that's why I went with the, the cloth. Um, <clears throat> a couple concerns I had when I purchased the cloth pelvis, I didn't know about how durable it was going to be, especially with folding it up, and, you know, over and over, if it was going to lose some of its structure. Because you can see, it still has that structure there. And it's held up really well. It's held up really well. I use this all the time. This is not something I bought and it sits on a shelf. This gets used. Um, I was also a little nervous about keeping it clean. Um, you know, I let my, my students, my clients touch it and try things. And, you know, I want them to be able to you know, tactile learners and all of that. Um, so I was like, well, how hard is it going to be to clean? It's actually been really easy to keep clean. I'm sure not as easy as something I could just wipe off like plastic. But it's been pretty easy. It's still, you know, looking good. There was one place where an orange marker got on it and I had to try to clean it and that's the best I could do. But other than that, it's held up really well. In addition to the pelvis itself, the model set that I bought also came with um, a fetal model. So you have baby here. You can see soft spots and babies. Baby also has snaps so that their hands can snap together so that way you can pull up their legs and snap that closed and they fit better. There's also a snap here that the umbilical cord attaches to. Now you can see there's areas, the snaps, you know, I got some loose threads. Um, baby's probably not, he's a little bit harder to keep clean than the pelvis, but not bad. I think it's held up really, really well. So baby comes with that. You also have um, with the pelvis, it comes with what they call the perineal cloth. And basically, just you know, just like a sling here, it comes has the vaginal opening. It has kind of the pelvic floor, kind of, and it attaches um, with an elastic band that went over like this. I never ever use that part. It, it came with it. That's fine. Um, I just have found different, better ways to teach about engagement and effacement and um, dilation. And I just don't use it. So it's in a box somewhere. I don't even know quite where it's at, but it does come with that. You might love that using that that part. I just don't. So, and then lastly, it does come with this piece as well, which is all one piece. It's not separate, but you have the placenta. You have the amnion and the chorion here. You have the inside oops, placenta, and you have the umbilical cord. I haven't measured this umbilical cord. I'm guessing it's around 22 inches, like it's supposed to be. Um, you can see the arteries and the veins there they have the different colors and then there's the snap just where baby attaches um, and again it's held up pretty well
you can see, you know, there's a little snag there and whatever. But, you know, I've been using it so much. I'm impressed with it. So this entire set, all of those things together, uh, is the cloth pelvic model from childbirthgraphics.com. And right now the price of that is $240.70 before shipping and tax. Um, I know it's a big chunk of money, but honestly, I think it's a good investment. And if anything, if, even if you don't get the whole set, if anything, a pelvis to use. And then you could use your own baby doll if you wanted to. So speaking of baby dolls, let me go on to the next things, two things that I use. I do use baby dolls in my class. This is an Ikea doll. But what I want to do with this baby, he's next, and I've already started doing, is I like to actually use weighted baby dolls. And so this is an example of that same type of doll being made into a weighted baby. And what I have done with these babies is I've taken um, a seam ripper and I just made a little incision and then I removed the stuffing. I also went ahead and did that to the arms and the legs. And once the stuffing was out, I took um, some pantyhose, some old pantyhose, and tied them off and basically made little sacks with the pantyhose and filled those with um, aquarium gravel. And I weighed, I, you know, weighed out the aquarium gravel to how much I wanted. And I went in and put some of that in the head and some in the body and some into each one of the limbs. And then now my baby weighs 7 pounds and 6 ounces. And I have to support baby's head. If I don't support baby's head, it goes back or forward where its chin is tucked there, which is um, really helpful for teaching things like safety with baby wearing and car seats and stuff like that. Um, but also just feels more like a baby. And I'll hand this doll to somebody in my class and they automatically will start kind of bouncing and patting and they are supporting the head. And when they go to pass baby, they support the head with their, you know, with their elbow. Um, dads are really funny with it. You know, at first they're just not sure and the head's, some dads are awesome, but you know, dads are like, you know what? And so they learn and, and they get really good with this baby too. And I see them building their confidence that I, you know, okay, yeah, I know how to support a baby's head. I feel like people, when they're not around babies or newborns, they're always worried about that. And so this kind of gives practice for that. And it, again, really inexpensive. These IKEA babies, I was able to get for $7.99 a piece at the IKEA store. Um, I think they're typically $9.99. I was able to luck out and find them on sale. So I do use those babies quite a bit. Another thing I use is a knitted breast. And this knitted breast I purchased from an Etsy store, Mother Hen Doula, and it was $8 before shipping. And this you can use for all kinds of things. Um, of course, talking about the anatomy of the breast, um, you can talk about positioning and latch, you can show mom if, if they want to cup their breast, you can talk about um, compression, you can talk about clogged milk ducts and things you can do to you know position baby's jaw and massage. Um, the other thing too is there's this str string of yarn and if I pull that it actually pulls in the nipple and so I can talk about inverted nipples, I can talk about flat nipples and then I can talk about things that we can do to try to encourage that nipple to come out and um, so that's helpful. So this is this is very useful it is something that if you don't have this and you're teaching those things, it can be really hard to not be gesturing to your own body parts while you're teaching about breastfeeding. You're talking about cupping the breast and bringing baby to the breast. It's hard not to just use yourself when you're talking, especially if you talk like me with your hands, if you don't have something to actually use. So this is really, really helpful. The last thing I want to share, um, in addition to these things, some things I'm not sharing, I use PowerPoint presentations, I use videos, um, pictures, things like that. But this right here has also been proven to be very helpful to me. And this is the desktop display, poster display from Plum Tree Baby. So you can see here, it's a desktop display. It's a trifold display so that I can set it on top of the table. The one that I have here has um, 14 posters. So there's childbirth education stuff, um, there's also breastfeeding stuff, you know, we have all kinds of things there. Um, so this one came with 14 posters and the display case. And the display case itself
folds flat. So very easy to um, travel with. Hi. <laughs> um, so the Plum Tree Baby is where I got it. They have a little spot where you can stick your business card. Um, and that's really handy too. And so this folds flat and has all my posters in there. Um, and the one that I... The one that I purchased from Plum Tree Baby was a set that came with 14 posters. And that was childbirth posters as well as breastfeeding posters. And that all together was $155 before tax and shipping. Um, if you do just childbirth and you don't teach breastfeeding, they do have one that's just childbirth education posters. I believe those are 10 posters. And with the display thing in those 10 posters, it's $115. Now maybe you've already been collecting posters, you already have your own, and you just want the tri-fold display. That is um, $26, and that's all on Plum Tree Baby's website. And again, that's helpful in group classes, private classes, if I'm meeting with a client. But also it's been really nice, like if I'm at a baby expo, or I have a table or a booth at an event, and I want to have something, that's been nice to have that display there. I also just want to encourage you to think outside the box of things that you can use. When I first started in 2010, I did not have the budget to buy all of this stuff. And I had to get really creative in the things that I use and the ways that I would show people um, you know, what I wanted to get across in a visual way so that those visual learners um, could get something out of it. And also just to break up, I just don't want to be lecturing for two hours. Um, a balloon is one of the greatest things you can get. You can get a balloon, it's shaped like a uterus. There's a very great video that you can find if you just Google it about using a ping pong ball and a balloon and using that to show contractions and baby coming down. But another thing I like to use a balloon for, and I actually still use this, is I will just blow up a balloon, tie it off. I usually try to get like a white or like a, um, a pink balloon. And I will just take a marker and draw circles around the balloon, horizontal circles. And then I'll also do lines up and down vertically on the balloon. And that's a really great way to teach your clients about contractions and about the uterus. We know that there's muscle fibers that run vertically as well as around horizontal muscles that are going around that uterus. We can teach about the fundus, the top of the uterus. We can teach about how contractions change over time, how not only are those contractions pushing baby down and in and out, but also the uterus is actually, um, those muscles are pulling up and opening up the cervix. And so we can talk about dilation and effacement and contractions just with that simple balloon. So there's little things like that. I would love to hear some of your ideas about what you use for visual props um, for your classes or with your doula clients. And if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, hopefully this was helpful. Hope you have a great day.